Kapitel 5, Institut. Ah ja, stimmt. Wir wurden ja getötet. Oder auch nicht. Wissen wir, wiss, wissen wir bisher noch nicht. Und jetzt sind wir ja in diesem Krankenhaus-Ding. Pierce and Officer Bradley follow the intruder to the secret meeting place of a cult set in a network of underground caves right under Hawkins Manor. They witness a strange ceremony led by Charles Hawkins, very much alive. Bradley tried to arrest him, by, but Hawkins, whose body displayed various mutations, disemboweled a police officer. As he tried to escape from him, Pierce found himself prisoner of a rock fall. Rush to the Riverside Institute, he is in a critical state. Spaß. Ich hoffentlich haben. <lacht> Wenn ich erst die Schlafpillen habe, komme ich raus. Okay, gut zu wissen. Pardon, du kennst das Spiel ja schon. Ähm, wie weit bin ich in ungefähr in der Story drin? Also Kapitel 5, beziehungsweise weißt du, wie viele Kapitel das Spiel hat? So gerade aus dem Kopf raus. Nur so Interesse halber, dass ich vielleicht, vielleicht schon mal ein bisschen planen kann oder so. So zwei Fünftel, also kurz, kurz vor der Hälfte ungefähr. Oder ein kleines bisschen noch und dann sind wir ungefähr bei der Hälfte. Okay. Okay, gut. That should draw the attention of the guards. I should hide. Damn it. Ah, ja, stimmt. Da war ja was. Äh, I should hide. Got let Fuller know. You can bet he'll blame us. Viel zu entdecken. Hm. Nein! Du siehst mich nicht. Ich sehe dich nicht, also siehst du mich auch nicht. Ey, das funktioniert mal. Was lacht denn der andere da drin? Der geht da lang, der geht da lang. Oder auch nicht. Stealth 100. Gut, äh, wo muss ich denn hin? Hier anscheinend. Oh. Incision and bleeding, good practice. Ah, ich glaube, da drin ist noch irgendwas versteckt oder so. Mein Spürsinn sagt mir, hier ist noch irgendwo was.
Was? Wieso sieht der mich? Sehr dunkel. Ich glaube, ich muss, ich muss meinen Bildschirm da hier einfach mal richtig einstellen, weil bei mir, bei mir ist ziemlich hell, wenn ich rüber guck. Zum anderen Bildschirm ist, ist nicht mal ansatzweise so hell. Ist bei meinem Bildschirm ein bisschen was äh, Helligkeit oder was weiß ich, Gamma, irgendwie sowas. Müsste ich mal runterdrehen. So, ir irgendwas ist da hier noch drin. Sagt mir mein sechster Sinn. Ich habe keine Ahnung wo. Also hier ist nichts. Okay. Die Sache ist, wenn ich hier reingehe, dann geht das Fragezeichen weg. Moment, vielleicht nicht da, sondern da drin. Ne, jetzt ist es. Geht's weg. Moment, hier vielleicht was. Wie? Ah, ja. Kollege. Oh ja. Vielleicht finde ich es noch, wenn ich es wenn nicht finde. Und wurscht. Cool. I'll go take a look. Nein, da ist nichts. Piss dich. Geh weg! Na! Äh. Oh, okay. Nein! 
Jetzt kommt er. Geh weg. Nein! Hey. Zack! That should draw the attention of the guards. Yeah. I should hide. Damn it. What's going on? Is there somebody? Mandy, come to. Gotta let Fuller know. You can bet he'll blame uh, us. Schlecht. Uh. Fuck, der mit dem Licht kommt, glaube ich, zuerst hier hin. Ne? Oder auch nicht. Bitches. Hi. Doctor, is that you? Yeah. Don't you worry about the doctor. Right now, he'll have plenty to keep him busy with his precious machine. It gives us time to get away. I'll undo you. Get away? Get away where? I, I, I can't go anywhere. It'll find me like it found me here. Mistaken about the beast. Don't stay with me, or you end up the same way. Okay. Ah, my medicine reicht nicht aus. What is the exact nature of the beast you're running away from? Well, you've got instinct, a sensitivity for the invisible. It puts you in danger. The creature that is pursuing me is not from our world. After what I've seen so far on this island, I'm ready to believe you. Don't do that! <laughs> do not believe. Or you'll end up like us all. What happened to you, Sanders? The real culprit is Sarah. Her and her accursed paintings. You're kidding me. You're talking about Sarah Hawkins. <laughs> <laughs> the one and only. The legendary. There is no artist more enlightened or cursed than Sarah Hawkins. In her office, I saw signs of a ritual, perhaps an invocation. These things, that's what makes you say she's cursed. You're wrong. It was not an invocation, but a revocation. <laughs> but she failed. And that's what counts. What's going on on this island? I'm... I'm so sorry. That we should never have met. What are you talking about? Destiny! It has trapped you! Don't let it see you, or you won't be able to escape it. So don't look at it! That's how it finds you! What? Sonst hören die anderen Leute! Sarah Hawkins visitor? The Shambler? Sanders, pull yourself together. Without her, it's no longer possible to save me. Ah! No! Sanders! Oh! 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 What the hell? Oh, I got it. Panic attack. This is insane. What killed him? Keine Untersuchung. Okay. Soll der Scheiß? Wow, Drogen? Nein. 
Ist kostenlos. Cool. Äh, Exit. Damn! Damn! <coughs> The gas! Gas! Oh. Oh no. My head. Later. We need to move on. Was? Hawkins Mansion. Was? Oh. oh, okay. Pierce woke up in an asylum installed in the cellars of the Riverside Institute. He met Dr. Colin, a female friend of Bradley, who helped him, helped him to escape. Wandering through the corridors of this place where Dr. Fuller reigned supreme, Pierce was able to talk to a man called Francis Sanders. Before dying in full view of the des detective, he accused Sarah Hawkins of being the cause of his torment. Pierce finally left the accursed building, accompanied by Bradley and Colm. The companions in misfortune decide to use the Hawkins mansion as a hideout. Etwas verwirrend. Interessant. Süß. Kraken. Who goes there? A nightmare again. I need a drink. Yeah, drink. Sehr gut. So, ich habe einen Punkt. Uh, wo war ich? Uh. Ich habe drei Punkte. Medizin könnte ich direkt auf drei bringen. Psychologie könnte ich auf drei bringen. Total was anderes. Hm. Sinusalt. Ich meine, den, die, die eine Option konnte ich ja gerade eben schon nicht auswählen. Improved by objects discovered in the environment. Ah, okay. Das heißt, Medizin und Okkultismus kann ich gar nicht selbst upgraden. Ja, gut, dann machen wir Psychologie. Um, investigation. Dass man das auch irgendwann auf. Komplett voll haben. Gut. Mehrere große alte. Ja, soweit ich weiß ja. Did I sleep long? Zum Beispiel halt. It's fine. Also Dagon zum Beispiel ist einer Cthulhu. Uh, und was weiß ich. How's our fugitive? Dr. Fuller hasn't reported your disappearance to the force, but that'll come soon. Bradley? Who else would it be? Mr. Pierce, are you all right? You look like you saw a ghost. I... There are things I can't explain. Tell us. What happened? Hmm. I saw people in hoods. They had stolen Mrs. Hawkins' paintings. Who are you talking about? Why would they do such a thing? I don't know, but they were a threat. They've taken over the caves under the mansion. They were performing some kind of ritual. One of the entryways was under Charles Hawkins' office. We suspect Mr. Hawkins are being involved. My patients believe the old islanders used to worship primitive sea gods. Could they be the focus of the cult? Am I hearing this right? So you think me gullible? No, not at all. 
What else did you uncover, uh, Mr. Pierce? Okay. Das Spiel geht's ausschließlich im Cthulhu. Also bisher wurde noch gar keiner von denen erwähnt. Müssen wir mal schauen. Diese zwei kennen sich gut. Es ist ein kleines Eiland. Jeder kennt jeder. Besonders, seit ich ein Polizeiofficer bin und Marie ist ein Arzt. The chemistry is obvious. Ooh. I do seem a little bit stupid, don't I? <laughs> anyway, let's get back to the business at hand. <clears throat> I found a dark water PD badge. Lost a colleague recently? What the? Bradley. Ethan? I'm all right. I just had a... That's gone. You're sure? If it's important, it'll come back. But I can't explain why Dr. Fuller would have that badge. The man's a danger, believe me. What can we do, Pierce? What I'm sure of now is that the Hawkins case isn't just an accident. And what brings you to that conclusion? The fact that Charles Hawkins survived the fire. I don't understand. Mr. Hawkins was buried. That's what he would have you believe. I have a hard time believing you. What? You were there, Bradley. You even opened fire on him. I'd remember that. Why would he fake his own death? Hmm. Do you think he covered up his wife's murder? That's possible. It seems hard to swallow. Don't you have anything more concrete, Pierce? Bradley, what do you remember? I don't understand your question. The night we went into the Hawkins mansion. You don't seem to remember the tunnels and what occurred there. Uh, no memory of going down any tunnel. No, we were in the manor then... Uh... Then what? I... Uh... The rest is quite blurry. I don't recall how I came back home. And then? I went to visit you at the hospital. And called on Marie's help to get you released. And you don't remember the events of the tunnel? I don't. Let's talk about something else. Hm. Oh, was? Was hat die Frau gerade gemacht? Given the energy he pours into Riverside, I presume it was Fuller's creation. <coughs> His father's, to be correct. He was a surgeon on board the Scylla. He founded the hospital in 1904 with funds from the Hawkins family before he died and his son Thomas Fuller took over. Two families inextricably linked. Most island families are that way. Captain Fitzroy's father was also a seaman aboard the Scylla. Powerful families dominating everything. Yes, and as you could tell, Dr. Fuller is like some crazed emperor. He wouldn't be happy if he knew we were snooping around. I know the risks. I don't fear him. Do you wish to know anything else? <sighs> Dr. Fuller seems to be leaving a trail of corpses. Not to mention those strange machines, chains, and tools of all kind. Yes. I've been telling you that Fuller uses his patients as guinea pigs. What I saw was more akin to torture than medicine. Do you even hear what you're saying? Dr. Fuller is highly respected. It's the truth, Ethan. And I'll prove it to you. Yeah. I'm listening, Mr. Pierce. Schön, wenigstens eine, die, die mir glaubt. Uh. I have flashbacks. They haunt me. What did they do to you? Detroit become human, noch nicht gespielt. Ne? Dr. Fuller. Weder, nurse. weder im Stream noch privat. Everywhere. My legs. I, I couldn't bear it. I was screaming. Das Spiel an sich interessiert mich aber schon. Also I woke up at the end. Vielleicht irgendwann gerne mal. And how you scared us. You seemed demented. You likely woke up during the anesthesia. No wonder those memories haunt you. What in God's name were they doing to you? What happened afterwards? 
When I woke up the second time, I was in a padded cell. <clears throat> That's where you found me, Doctor. After you released me, I got a good look at what's in store for the patients of the Riverside Institute. Hallucinogenic gas pumped into the cells. An infernal machine. Horrific medical experiments. Impossible. Dr. Fuller would never do such a thing. You should believe it, Ethan. What Mr. Pierce saw is precisely what I've been trying to prove. Did you discover anything else? I, I met a Francis Sanders. Do you know him? Of course. He's a patient. Or was. I haven't seen him since Dr. Fuller had him transferred to the basement. He knew Sarah Hawkins. And that's what killed him. What? How did he die? I'm not sure I can explain it. Tell me how Mr. Sanders died. I didn't see what, but something was there with us. Of what do you speak? Sanders said it was Sarah Hawkins' visitor. He spoke of it like a living being. Sarah Hawkins? Have I missed something here? This makes no sense. I don't see how it can help crack the Hawkins case. You really think she's involved? How could she have murdered Mr. Sanders? Francis Sanders mentioned Mrs. Hawkins just before dying. It's no coincidence. You know, Francis Sanders was a well-known art collector. I guess you can still pay a visit to his wife, Irene Sanders. An art collector, you say? Hmm. That's probably how they met. If you plan on having dinner at the Sanders household, please spare the widow the tale of her late husband's suffering. I don't agree. She deserves the truth. But that truth may be biased. We don't know the bottom of it. Hmm. You're right. Without a plausible explanation for what I saw, let's not jump to conclusions. That seems wise indeed. Very well. This will I'll affect your destiny. Oh. Widow. Perhaps I'll find a link between her husband's death and Sarah Hawkins. Don't end up in the hospital this time. <laughs> I'll do my best. Let us go now and learn the truth about what's happening on this island. The other night's events are still confused in my head. Feuer? Na, ich mach mal. Ich komm nicht ran. Ich komm an die Kerze nicht ran. Dann halt nicht. Gut. Also, auf geht's, Leute. Sanders Residence. Pierce, Cole and Bradley decided to team up to solve the Sarah Hawkins case. They have a new trial to follow. Francis Sanders, an art collector and friend of the painter who died right in front of Pierce. The detective goes to his house in order to speak to his widow about the shambler that the unfortunate man mentioned before he died. Clap, clap. What can I do for you, sir? Mrs. Sanders, I'm a private detective. We must talk about your husband and his ties to Sarah Hawkins. Can I come in? You may. Unser Charakter hört sich irgendwie However, ziemlich oft. Before we go any further, please know that my husband died yesterday. That is precisely <laughs> what brings me here. Well, well. Look who's here. Was macht die denn hier? Aber unser Charakter hört sich manchmal echt irgendwie so an, als ob der total aus der Puste ist. The brave detective has a talent for sticking his nose into my business. I bump into her every time I'm investigating someone's death. Hmm. It's a small island, detective. My island. It's better that it's you bumping into me. You're investigating Francis' death. Why? Who hired you? I spoke to Francis before he died. 
His story suggests a link to a case I'm working on. Well, since this business has got nothing to do with me, I'll be in your husband's office, Irene. We'll carry on later. Very well, Miss Baker. Okay. This way, Mr. Pierce. And do make yourself comfortable. It would sure. seem that you have much to tell me. Ah. May I inquire as to when you had the opportunity to talk to my husband? Yesterday. I met him at the hospital. He spoke to me about Sarah Hawkins. Oh, of course he spoke to you about her. That's all he talked about. Sarah Hawkins and her paintings. Please forgive my tone. The fact is that I have not been allowed to see him since he was interned. You, on the other hand, a perfect stranger, were able to see him and even talk with him the day he died. How was he? Were you present when he had this attack? What happened? We had a short conversation and then I left. I don't know what happened after that. Oh, I see. Oh, Mr. Pierce, you must forgive my audaciousness. But I've had practice of life in high society for over 30 years. Reading one's interlocutors, recognizing the politeness of a lie, are things that are taught very early to young girls from a good family. But your lie has nothing polite about it. <laughs> it is crass, insulting, and dare I say, terribly suspicious. Try to understand my position. I need to understand. How could this happen in a reputed institute? And, and right before your <clears throat> eyes, <clears throat> did you not do anything to help him? It's terrible what happened to your husband, but I had nothing to do with it. I was injured, and I came across him in the hospital quite by chance. Injured? Well, I'm delighted to see you in such fine fettle, Detective. Not everybody enjoyed such a prompt recovery. I suppose Fuller does do miracles now and again. Luck is obviously very kind to you. Oh, I'm tired, Mr. Pierce. I would be grateful if you could tell me what you expect of me, and then leave. I deduce that your husband already mentioned this dimensional shambler. <laughs> well, you can't imagine that's all he talked about. It's exhibited at the center of the gallery. No better place for the painting that endowed him with the privilege of such a shameful and miserable end to his life. Hold on. The shambler is a painting by Sarah Hawkins. Who else to paint such horrors? Take a look for yourself, if you feel so inclined. It is my only lead at this stage. I suppose I have nothing to lose. Then you have paid no heed. For my part, I refuse to set foot in that gallery again. But if you are so eager to see it... Thank you, Mrs. Sanders. I won't be long. The day the Shambler came into the Sanders' lives. Da -da -da. Photo uh, photograph of Sir Hawkins next to the Sanders. So they must be close. Francis Sanders and Sarah Hawkins were close. Friends, even? Hmm. A house of artists. Sanders' accession register. He wrote beside the Shambler. Finally. What did Sarah Hawkins fear so much that she didn't want to sell a painting? He finally won. Was Sanders aware of his imminent doom? Was she jealous of Sarah Hawkins?
He didn't want Sanders to have the painting. She must have felt devastated. Ah! Ah! Whoa. The Shambler. Okay. I need to see it. Did she really care for him after all? Yeah, madam, I acknowledge receipt of the letter in which you demand the body of your deceased husband. I'm sorry to inform you that I cannot agree to return his, return his body to you. At the moment of his internment, you sign a discharge, allowing me to dispose of his body as I see fit. I extend my deepest condolences to you, Thomas Fuller. Das ist doch genau das gleiche Bild. Warum? Warum? Also kauft er sich zweimal das gleiche Bild. Let's see what this cylinder has to say once it's inserted in a phonograph. An audio recording that Francis Sanders left for his wife, Irene. Moment. Das steckt er sich einfach ein? Junge, das ist Diebstahl. Und das... Frau, warum verschließt du deine ganzen Türen? Too late for me. Nobody should enter. <clears throat> except to burn everything. I never had the courage. Pay somebody to do it. He's inside my head. I see him. Behind my eyelids. Each time I shut my eyes. Hmm. I can't take any more. I can't hold him back. Forgive me. That accursed gallery. Those accursed paintings. That accursed Sarah. Strange Amerindian pendant. <clears throat> Ancient amulet, probably Amer Am Amerindian. I wonder what its purpose could be. Name Mit Quail and the Cod. Brief history of Darkwater Island. By Irvin Greenmouth, it is focused on the past glory of the island. Name Amit. I could use one of those. Sleeping pills. Found these sleeping pills in the Sanders house, where they prescribed to Francis Sanders or to Irene. Name Amit. Strange. For months, Sarah Hawkins refused to part with her painting, to finally give it away for nothing. Dear Francis, I beg you to give up all hope of ever owning this accursed painting. If a friendship has any meaning for you, please spare me the weight of guilt. I cannot be the architect of your fall. I beg you, my dear friend, forget the shambler. Your friend, Sarah Hawkins. Ach, das, das nehmen wir nicht mit. Ah, okay. 
Another volume of the Reverend's wife's diary. This volume spends some time on Reverend Wickwood's community. His wife expresses her worries about the strange dreams that the Reverend's congregation are having since their arrival on the island. Some members of the community, her husband included, began to speak of the vision as a messenger sent by God. She's scared that they will suffer the same fate as the lost tribe. That's twice you've stepped on my toes, Detective. Hello. Try not to make a habit of it. I've got a lot of bad habits. Some can be more fatal than others. What have you come looking for in this gallery? I have a well-off client in Boston who heard about the death of Francis Sanders and wanted me to size up his estate before making an offer to his widow. Nice story. Bad lie. Fuck! Learn how to dupe, detective. But as long as you keep out of my way, you're free to carry on with your visit. And you? What brings you to the Sanders home? I'm here on business. Irene asked me to liquidate all these paintings. She doesn't intend to hang around here for long. Why you? Believe it or not, there aren't many collectors on Darkwater. It needs someone with a network and a means of transport to the mainland. A choice that comes down to Fitzroy and me. And I'm far more pleasant, wouldn't you say? Not now, sweetheart. Ooh. I'd like to read this without some snoop looking over my shoulder. Would you read the book? Natürlich. This will affect your destiny. Oh. Maleus? What? Den Namen kenne ich. Den hat man vorhin in Spirit Tracks. The fuck? There's a kind of. Encyclopedia of monstrous and unknown creatures. I'm beginning to believe that they exist. Ha! Ich glaube, das war nicht so besonders gut. Visitation on an anatomical question. It is the work of a student in book form. Although the observers observations are relevant. They lack the expertise of an experienced physician. How will the questions asked allow us to imagine new ways of exploring human anatomy? Wieso brennen hier eigentlich Kerzen, wenn die Alte sich nicht mehr hier reintraut? Wer hat denn bitte die Kerzen angemacht? These artifacts date from pre-Columbian times. <lacht> Alle Bilder anschauen. Okay. Hm. Hm. Sehr gut. These artifacts date from pre-Columbian times. Coole Decke.
the public entrance to the gallery. Oh. Why was he so interested in old weapons? Hmm. The man transforms an entire wing of his manor into an art gallery. Arme Gans? Die arme Robbe? Das ist cool. Noch mehr Öl. Yeah. Ah, ah. Is this dagger part of Sanders' collection, or was he seeking to acquire it? Far, far from possessing the talents of Sarah Hawkins, Sanders threw a dagger with a tor tortured form down to the smallest detail. The guard carries a strange esoteric symbol, a recurring feature of his correspondence with Sarah. Na dann. Schauen wir uns das Ding mal an. Ein Glück, dass das Ding keine Augen hat. What the hell? ihn nicht angucken, sonst kriegt man Piste. What the hell was that? Oh. 
Boba. I can't even touch. Sick. Nope. <lacht> Boah, muss es so laut sein? Wegrennen ist nicht, okay. Okay. What the hell was that? Vielleicht, wenn ich einfach das Gemälde verbrenne. Kann ich mit dem Gemälde was machen? That thing came out of this painting. There has to be a link. Maybe if I destroy it. Sag ich doch. Da hat's uns an. That thing came out of this painting. There has to be a link. Da halt nicht. Maybe if I destroy it. Ah, okay. Ich verstehe. What the hell was that? Moment. Äh, Clues. So gewunden mit so einem Pentagramm Auge Illuminati Satanisten Illuminaten. Das nicht. Das nicht. Das nicht. Das nicht. Hallo. Ich will mir hier Sachen angucken. Mann, Mann, Mann. What the hell? Ja, Checkpoint ist gleich hier und ich will erstmal Informationen sammeln. Erstmal gucken, wo muss ich überhaupt hin. Und dann kann ich, wenn ich weiß, wo, wo genau ich hin muss. Nee, das nicht. Ich meine, ich kann, wenn mich das Ding erwischt, dann fange ich ja sowieso wieder hier an. Also, viel zu verlieren habe ich ja nicht. Okay, ich weiß zumindest, wo der, wo der Dolch ist. Ich hoffe hoff nur, dass der immer da ist und nicht, dass der irgendwie What the hell was that? zufällig irgendwie irgendwo erscheint. Oh, 
Hi. You sure you won't be needing that hand? You're losing it, detective. At this rate, you're right. The bottle will get you before I do. You didn't see anything. I saw you within an inch of putting a dagger through your forearm. Did I miss something more interesting? Sanders was right. This painting is cursed. What are you talking about? I was attacked by a creature. I pushed it back, I think. I... I think so too. You knew. You knew about the beast. What are you talking about? Think yourself lucky that I saved your hand, even if it was to save my goods. You mean me. Don't flatter yourself, sweetheart. I'm talking about the contents of this gallery. Do you want and by the way, where do you think you're going with that dagger? Yeah. It do saved you my life. It in. It's an extraordinary dagger. You should talk to Algernon Drake. He's That's... an antique dealer here on Darkwater. He'll tell you all about it. From what I saw in the ledgers, it was him who sold it to Sanders. It's not your style to give me free information like that. Take it as payment for being my canary. A simple trade-off. Now go see your antique seller. I still got things to settle with Irene. Hmm. Nameless bookstore. The Shambler turned out to be much more than an artwork painted by Sarah Hawkins, as a huge creature came out of the painting to attack Pierce. After a hard fight, the detective managed to send it back into the painting. He later discovered that the dagger he used to repel the creature had been sold to Xanus by a man named Algernon Drake, owner of the Nameless bookstore. Pierce decides to pay the library a visit. Oh. Where is the bookseller? Gut. Genug für heute. Mit dem Spiel. <lacht> Joa, äh, ziemlich, ziemlich cool. Ziemlich nice, ja.